So Outriders has been out coming up to two months now and from start to where we are now we as a community have learned people can fly ain't the most trustworthy in terms of fixing bugs and dropping patches especially on time and today we go over the latest news in regards to the latest patch and a few other things i do want to discuss today how's it going guys my name is dpj and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more outriders on a daily basis well i say daily it's not daily at the minute but on a regular basis be sure to subscribe so what I want to talk about today is started last Tuesday, which would have been the 18th of May. They dropped a tweet, which you're seeing on screen now, uh, stating Tuesday's news. We are hoping to release our damage mitigation patch this Thursday, which would have been May 20th. Yesterday, folks. But this will only be confirmed once it successfully passes through final testing. The patch will additionally include crash fixes, as well as added telemetry to help us diagnose currently outstanding signing issues that might remain after this patch release. We are still working on the player appreciation package. Well, the player appreciation package was supposedly coming, I believe, before the restoration fix. We still haven't had the appreciation packages yet. And we know through experience how long they do take with general fixes anyway. Like I said, the inventory restoration, the patch for this, it was weeks late. And let's not forget guys, it's been in the game from day one. They literally rolled out the fix probably two weeks ago. So five, six weeks after the game's release, which is questionable in terms of being acceptable. But we can uh, understand that people can fly and not an incredibly massive uh, company or studio. And a lot of people, like myself in the past, I won't lie, have compared them to other companies such as Bungie, when in reality, they ain't nowhere near that size. But after they dropped the Tuesday news of the patch coming this Thursday, or the 20th of May, they then dropped uh, stats basically bragging about the game and how it performed in month one with over 3.5 million players. I can probably guarantee you a lot of this is because of it was free on the Xbox Game Pass and it was purchased by many other people on other platforms due to it being great within its demo. It's a promising game, there's no two which ways about that. But we know at release it suffered majorly in terms of bugs, glitches and so much more. To a point now, almost two months later, they are still trying to fix said problems and they're even admitting like we saw on that tweet of Tuesday's news that the patch, this patch that was supposedly coming yesterday will include added telemetry to help us diagnose currently outstanding signing issues that might remain. So there's no guarantee that this will be fixed either. And also still many, many people having multiplayer problems. But yes, after they tweeted out about this patch that was supposed to arrive yesterday, they tweeted out bragging about the game and how it's done great in, in month one and said they look forward to expanding the, uh, the Outriders universe or the Outriders franchise, whatever. Which is good to know from a standpoint of somebody who enjoys the game. But yesterday, guys, we got another tweet stating... Our final test of today's planned patch uncovered an issue that could pose a risk to the stability of the overall patch, so it will not release today. As we are not comfortable releasing the patch with this issue in place, we need to take a couple of days to address it. As we know, they have the weekends off, so this probably won't come down until the end of next week. As they say, this current patch is now rescheduled to be released early next week, pending final confirmation that the above mentioned issue has been resolved. I mean, this isn't news many people wanted to hear. I mean, the remaining players that still play the game, still trust people can fly, are actually waiting for this fix, waiting for this damage mitigation fix. I myself, I haven't played it much the past couple of weeks because the damage mitigation bug has been irritating me and a lot of the people I play with. I mean, there's still a lot for me to do within the Outriders. It's just at the moment, it's boring playing solo and when playing in a team, there's just so many bugs in place. The damage mitigation just being one of them. There's also many, many issues still to this day almost two months later with multiplayer connectivity and considering I play literally two of my pals who live more or less just a couple of miles away from my house we all have absolutely incredible internet connections yet we struggle to connect to each other doesn't matter who hosts or whatever there's still major major problems there so yes the community isn't happy right now as it stands with patches being delayed and so much more but then guys, not long ago actually as I'm making this video, half an hour ago, they tweeted out for limited time only. Outriders is currently 25% off on all platforms. Which I mean, I mean, if the game was great, if the game was fixed, if the game was playable, 
If you didn't have multiple bugs, I'd have made a video about this, sharing at the top of my lungs to go and buy this game if you play on PC or PlayStation. Obviously on Xbox you may as well use Game Pass. Because 25% off this game's full price, and it is still currently full price I believe, is quite a chunk and to be honest the game, when it works, as a fixed game, as a full package, is a great game with loads to do. But as it stands right now, where we're still waiting on fixes, patiently waiting for people can fly, to pull their fingers out, no I ain't a game developer, no I don't know about coding, but via gaming my entire life, via doing it for a living for the past 14, 15 years, I've learned a little bit over time, and what I've learned from the past couple of months from People Can Fly is, they are pretty slow workers, and I mean we have seen evidence that they can sort issues out within literally half an hour with the killing spree accidental in quotes accidental uh, stealth nerf they reverted that so quick it was unbelievable and they did that because they didn't want to piss people off further but the fact that a damage mitigation bug has been in place since the last patch which was more or less two three weeks ago and we are still three weeks later still getting the same issue with this mitigation bug getting one shot out of nowhere where it just shouldn't happen we still have multiplayer connectivity issues which have been here from day one with problems with the inventories and being wiped still in place now people losing weapons or losing armor pieces out of nowhere i mean even when this patch does land which is probably going to be late next week as i said there's still going to be issues within the game and i don't feel this game getting any better in reality for the next few months and by that time i'm not sure how much of a uh community it will still have and i've said this in numerous videos and i still believe it to this day that i believe people can fly just want this game in a spot where it's perfect or where it's at least playable without major bugs and i think they will leave it for the time being i know they said that they are excited to expand the uh, outriders universe or whatever but this could result in outriders 2 this could be a completely different game they've seen how good outriders 1 has been at launch probably done way better than they expected so they probably plan for a either big expansion later on in the year or maybe even another game we just don't know guys but yes as of right now you can get 25% off the game in my personal opinion I wouldn't recommend it as of right now that's just me I mean if you're a solo player and want to play this game solo and chill out it's it's a great game but if you want to play with your friends there's so many problems here guys it's unreal and when the game will be perfect i just have no idea but yes until next week when that patch comes people yeah outriders content on my behalf is going to be drying up a little especially with biome using that next week too uh, outriders will be pushed aside to a little but i'll still cover the news here and there this that and the other if anything exciting comes up but yes just a quick video or i say quick video it's probably gone on about six seven eight nine minutes now talking absolute bubbles but there's things that need to be said that i feel other content creators will bottle up and throw in a seat i'm not like that whatsoever and i'll say it how it is but yes like i said until next week now I probably ain't gonna post any more outriders videos unless something else comes up but we will see guys we will see but on that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Outriders on a regular basis, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. And hopefully I'll see you on that next one.